A major reason that people do not want to use Linux comes from the idea that Linux gaming is horrible. This is not true, but stems from a more evident issue with Linux, or rather, with game developers. You see, gaming on Linux is not bad, but game availability on Linux is bad. Linux holds a market share on desktop in 2020 behind macOS and above Chrome OS. In result, games on Linux are at a lower priority for game devs. But since gamers won't come to Linux because it's low priority, we get a chicken or the egg dilemma. There are not enough Linux gamers to please game devs, and there are not enough games made by game devs to please Linux gamers. So what should come first is not easy to decide. Another holdback is despicable DRM, or digital rights management, and anti-cheat. Some DRM prevents games from running on Linux, and anti-cheat is not normally meant to trip if you're running on Linux, but there are oftentimes some bad false flags. Lastly, most games that people want to play on Linux are non-freedom software. It is impossible to port the game to Linux for, by someone who wants it because they don't have a right to the source code. In the case of these games, you shouldn't really play them anyways. Like I said in the beginning, gaming on Linux isn't bad. In fact, games perform better on Linux thanks to features such as lower system hall, a monolithic kernel, faster file systems, more organized code, and a well-optimized code compiler called GCC. Thanks to tools like Wine, Proton, VXDK, Windows games like Roblox, Grand Theft Auto, Cyberpunk 2077, Fallout games, Elder Scrolls games, Doom Eternal, and more gr work great on Linux and with usually higher frame rates than on Windows. One other thing that makes Linux gaming especially unique is peripheral support. Since Linux has a monolithic kernel, all the drivers are already built in, so you can plug in or connect via Bluetooth any controller you can think of. In the past, I've connected Wii remotes, Xbox controllers, Joy-Cons, and they all work flawlessly with games that support those peripherals. If you're still unsure if you want to use Linux, give it a try with the dual boot on your second hard drive and see what you think. You might be surprised.